Hey guys, in this video, we will talk about the OpenAI uh, operator agent. OpenAI released this one yesterday, and it is the first uh, agent OpenAI released. I think there are something we need to think about. The first one is the price. The price is pretty uh, expensive. It's need uh, two hundred dollars per month. You have to be the pro user. Um, I think it's very expensive. The second one is the security thing. You need to think about uh, you have to store your uh, credential in the uh, browser, and that browser is in somewhere in the cloud. So maybe someone could access that. So I don't think that is uh, very safe. Um, I uh, a week ago I created uh, another video about how to use the AI do the same do the work for you. I think this one is pretty much do the same thing as the Open AI operator. It could uh, control the browser, do something, do some uh, uh, daily work for you. Uh, you don't need to store everything to you don't need to create an instance uh, uh, in the cloud uh, it's a, a browser is still in your local so you can take a look at this one and uh, this one uh, will show you how to uh, create the environment so this video i will demonstrate uh, uh, what's the results uh, and compare with the open ai uh, operator so let's start this one Okay, I will put the uh, link to this one, this link to my uh, video, and also uh, you can you can get the uh, project from GitHub. So let's start. Let's before we do that, we have to uh, close the browser. Okay, so let's start from. I already have it running. So let's start. Let's start. Uh, you have to open another browser with the uh, edge first. So you have it running. Okay. Now you run this one. You put could put your promote over here. The prompt over here. So let's say let's do exactly the same sample as the OpenAI doing. So we say okay, go to the Amazon and uh, search this item and. Uh, put the first item to my uh, shopping cart and check it out. Uh, my email address is here. Uh, you ha I have to use a fake email address. You, you need to use, mm, you need to log out your uh, account, your uh, Amazon account, otherwise it will directly check out. So it will get paid. Let's say, let's do that. Okay, now it's running. It's well. It's control. It says some software is control your uh, browser. Um, this is from one of the Chrome extension. That extension will do the autom the automate uh, test. So that plugin will um, control your application. So I did. I did not touch anything. It's a try to uh, search this one. Search this item. Has just follow my uh, instruction over here. As trying to find the first item, I did not touch any uh, keyboard. So now it's finding the first one. Okay. Uh, everything is still in your local. It's not in somewhere in the remote uh, uh, desk or somewhere else. It's still in your local. Okay. It's trying to find the first one and uh, um, put this to your shopping cart. Yeah, you can see it's put to your shopping cart and it's trying to uh, check out. So it's well log in. Um, I don't know it's why it's logged into my this account. I'll take a look. Okay, it's changed a little bit. It changed to this account because it's. Uh, uh, I think that is a browser. The browser cache is my uh, default account. 
uh, I, I used that account before so it's trying to use the default account I don't want it to use the default account otherwise if you already log in it will automatically check out so you don't want to do that <laughs> and the first time when I, be, when I created this video it's automatically check out so I have to return that item yeah, so do this carefully if you really want to do something if you really want to uh, purchase something it will work I'm sure it will check out you will get paid um, so this is the first test case uh, this test case works very good uh, but there are some cases some websites you may not able to do that because uh, some uh, websites they have some uh, uh, strategy to detect uh, if you are uh, if you are not a human if you are trying to use some uh, uh, automate uh, plug-in to do something uh, like a robot something doing something so let's do another uh, test case let's show you something is not working let's go over here let's stop this one okay let's stop another test case before you start a new one you have to uh, refresh your page uh, okay let's start another one In this case I say okay open the uh, Upwork and uh, search some project and uh, find the project and uh, submit the proposal so before you do that you need to uh, uh, log in but it not allow you to do that the some this website not allow you to do that because they have some uh, strategy to stop your using some automatic uh, test software so let's show you why it's not work okay so try now it's trying to sign in trying to log in so it will go to this page it will keep go to this page I think this site has some strategy to stop you are using the automate test software so you can say it's not working you know, it's just the data loop over here but for the Amazon if you want to purchase something that Amazon will not stop that even uh, for the YouTube it's not stop that you could uh, uh, use this tool uh, use this project to do the automatic stuff um, this is very cool this could uh, basically it could do the same thing as the uh, uh, open AI operator but it's much cheaper it's not you don't need to pay anything you only need to pay the open AI API uh, usage so you can try I will put the uh, project link to my uh, video and uh, you can do whatever you want you can have someone have something to help you doing some uh, daily job especially if you want to do something like you have to repeatedly do something you could use this way uh, to do the same thing yeah I, I hope you enjoy this video okay thank you have a good day bye